God's people brought to the test, July 20. We need not be deceived. Wonderful scenes with which Satan will be closely connected will soon take place. God's word declares that Satan will work miracles. He will make people sick and then will suddenly remove from them his satanic power. They will then be regarded as healed. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 22 and 23, it says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful things, or wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Let us look at the word prophesied in that moment, for a moment. That word tells us, or that word is interpreted, it means uh, to teach, or to refute, or to reprove, or to admonish or to comfort others. What the text is actually saying is that many in that day will say, Lord, we taught in your name. Lord, we refuted in your name. We reproved in your name. We admonished uh, in your name. We comfort others in your name. Uh, and then the Lord would say, you depart from me, you worker of iniquity. In other words, God knows the heart and, and God knows those who are his and those who are not his. But you might be wondering today how to genuinely do the will of God. Uh, my brothers and sisters, it's simple. Just have a clean heart. Have a clean mind. Let the Lord rest in your heart. Let the Lord direct what you do and what you say. And let's genuinely serve him. Let's be faithful to him. Uh, let's don't be hypocritical. Why not trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God for a clean heart and a clean mind. That's the power of his word. Why not let's pray. Father in heaven, we pray that you would bless us with a clean mind and a clean heart. In Jesus' name, uh, amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.